Skateboarding can be traced back to 1950s America, where West Coast surfers started attaching wheels to wooden boards in order to surf on land. It flourished in the 1960s, with stars from Clint Eastwood to Katherine Hepburn picture trying their hand at the sport. In 1965, ABC televised the National Skateboard Championships, which saw international skaters battle it out for prices of $500. And in the decades since, this underground subculture and casual hobby has transformed into a competitive profession and multi-billion dollar industry. After decades in Japan's underground, skateboarding experienced a global breakthrough in 2015. As part of an initiative that sees host countries propose new sports for the games, Tokyo 2020 organizers included skating on its shortlist. The next year, the proposal was formally accepted by the International Olympic Committee alongside surfing, karate, and climbing. For the longest time, Japan has frowned upon skateboarding in public spaces, deeming it to be disrespectful and inappropriate due to its noise levels and disruption and damage to public property. However, since the Tokyo Olympics, Japanese skaters have made waves with historic wins in Olympic street skateboarding, which saw 13-year-old Momije Najuya and 22-year-old Yuto Horigome take home gold wins at women's and men's finals, respectively. Japanese pro skater Ryo Shijiri hopes that this will change the culture's perception. I'm sure skateboarding has had a bad image up until now because we do it out in public and people think of it as an inconvenience. But I think that will change now. This moment was the moment they changed their minds. Even so, in Japan and beyond, skating is still generally seen as rebellious, an image often promoted by skateboarders themselves with their clothes and attitudes. But whether skaters like it or not, skating's inclusion in the Olympics is helping to make the sport even more mainstream, while athletes such as Nishia and Horigome could inspire a new generation of talent. The Olympics also have the potential to introduce skateboarding to people who otherwise might not have engaged with the sport. Skateboarding is a vehicle for building self-confidence, learning to overcome challenges, and expressing yourself creatively. That even a few more young people might reap those same benefits is reason to applaud its inclusion at the Olympics. While skateboarding is ever popular in the U.S., the sport faces challenges here and around the world. Some communities have few, if any, places to skate, while others penalize skaters for daring to ride in public spaces. Seeing the International Olympic Committee recognize skateboarding as a sport and watching skaters from all kinds of backgrounds compete in Tokyo could be a game changer for countries where skateboarding is still discouraged. The Tokyo Games offer a chance to redefine the sport and allow a broader range of skaters to see themselves represented on a global stage. And that is what the spirit of skateboarding is really about. <laughs>